Hi you guys. I feel like it's been so long, but really it's been a long time since we sat on the couch. I want to start off by saying I am filming a Q&A, so if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'm really excited to chop it up with you guys, but today I was just thinking about my favorite memories, my favorite experiences, like when I really go back to the source, obviously the favor and the grace of God, but those were the times where I took a whole day cold emailing agencies, cold emailing clients and brands that I wanted to model for or collaborate with every time that i bet on myself it yields positive results i feel like it's much easier to buy into what others are selling and it's not really encouraged so much to bank on ourselves and our own ideas these outside sources entities corporations are dependent on our fear and insecurity in ourselves to even keep their ships going seriously there are some moguls that are like self-proclaimed in whatever industry and honestly they have the most experience selling ebooks courses online seminars things like that then actual experience doing the thing but people like to be spoon-fed information so they're more likely to buy into that i've had so many interests and endeavors and random phases y'all it's literally it's funny anything that had a promise of financial freedom or just not clocking in but also like maximum profit i've tried it i've tried it drop shipping real estate selling water to a whale i've done it and i will say there have been instances where i met with fear or doubt and my own ability to get the get my money's worth pretty much with any investment that i've made in myself there's always this moment that's like is am i sure i want to do this is this worth it and it's really crazy to me now at 24 knowing how much money i've spent on random things and stuff that when it comes to me and my endeavors that's where you're hesitant we're going to talk about that later but i've wasted enough time and money on things to now be stern with myself if i make an initial investment i will have to overcome whatever fear insecurities mental hurdles that i have to to see the fruits of my effort whether the challenge be like communicating pitching myself learning a new skill i've done enough small things to where now i've proven to myself my own capabilities if you have a small fear of rejection or people telling you no overcoming and pushing past that fear and meeting that fear with courage and persistence you realize that what's at stake is so much greater than someone telling you no anytime i overcome a small hurdle it builds so much confidence and you know that with every no with every slam door in your face you're just getting closer to your desired outcome i've also realized that god gives us opportunities to walk through these doors you know you ever end up in a setting or a place or doing something that it's like it seemed out of reach but that initial small risk a little bit of faith landed you in a better situation everything starts small and on my personal journey it's like I can't see what's up ahead, but only through overcoming these hurdles and obstacles will I ever align with that state. I don't know if you guys watched my 24 hours in New York vlog, but um, I went to a guided meditation, right? That was a very emotional meditation for me. He basically guided us to envision the highest version of ourselves and sit across from them everyone had their own experiences through this guided meditation but for me i saw myself she didn't talk and y'all know i be talking she didn't talk but the energy she exuded this strength and this confidence when i looked at this higher version of myself i want y'all to just walk with me guys without words i felt her energy and it's like i knew that i hadn't experienced some of the things that gave her this strength and this poise and this grace do you know what i mean 
and it moved me to tears. I was crying. It felt so real. And so when I look at her in my mind's eye, certain risks and investments are a no brainer. Like once we remove the doubt and the fear of what if, once it just becomes when, like when this all pays off, when I prove to myself that I can do this, of course you'll buy that salon chair, of course you'll buy that massage table, you'll buy that camera, whatever it is that will help you to align with that higher timeline, it's like, duh, it's a no brainer, you know? I had to get real with myself because one thing about me y'all, I'm gonna spend money on something on something every day with enthusiasm okay so when it comes to investing in my own endeavors there should be no hesitation if it's a camera for youtube whatever and it's like six hundred dollars i'm gonna spend six hundred dollars in two three days on something so i have to kind of reparent myself as it relates to priorities because the u.s dollar it is growing someone's company it is helping someone to pay their bills why would i ever hesitate as it relates to investing in something that could help me pay bills like it sounds backwards it sounds crazy and it is it's like it becomes obvious and apparent that we should have that same confidence and enthusiasm when it comes to ourselves one thing that i keep in perspective is at some point before we were jaded and had seeds of doubt and fear and inadequacy planted we were a kid glossy eyes nothing was off the table we can go to the moon if we wanted to you know what i mean when you're a kid it's like of course i can do it you know what i mean like mommy i want to be this i want to do that like and that child that version of you deserves a chance like she deserves the equipment to try she deserves the initial investment to prove to herself her own capabilities she deserves that if you don't have the confidence now because of life and whatever do it for your inner child you know what i mean small wins really help to build up confidence if for no one else look at a photo of yourself when you were young you know the enthusiasm and the joy and the confidence i don't know what type of blind faith kids have but we have so much faith in ourselves before the world gets in our heads you know having that same sense of belief in myself and in god has yielded positive results in my adult life unprogramming my brain and getting back to the basics of if god is with me who can stop me positive results and then also in addition to that there are some things that just work consistency works we may not see immediate results and that's okay you might rent a suite to do hair and not have clients within the first two months but that third month it's an influx you might start a channel no subscribers for two years <laughs> for two years <laughs> i've learned to keep my head down fear is an invitation to evolve rising to the occasion helps us to evolve into that person who is ready to walk through the door through overcoming mental hurdles fear insecurity small obstacles that is how we become that person someone who doesn't take no for an answer and to someone who is confident in their path confident in their own capabilities especially with the help of god that really puts a battery in my back because maybe you could stop me you can't stop God. You can't stop destiny. You can't stop my faith. And what's for me won't miss me. Honestly, y'all, that meditation, I will never forget it because my objective, to me, that visualization was so powerful because I won't forget her. I'm constantly chipping away and working towards aligning with that version of myself. And really, it's just about reverse engineering back to the first risk she took the first investment she made in herself. What was the first step that she took? It starts small and compounds over time. It's not a matter of if certain things will happen, it's a matter of when, you know? And that's a very powerful realization. One question that I keep in mind as it relates to investing in myself, whether it be physically, spiritually, mentally, is how can I make myself more appealing to the things that I desire? A practical investment was my teeth. For modeling for instance so towards like my late teens y'all i don't know what happened but my teeth they started doing their own thing okay at the bottom and i obviously needed invisalign so i got invisalign and then i started getting more bookings bookings that i otherwise wouldn't have gotten like 
tight shots, skincare, all those things that mattered. And for some people, their gap, their quirks are their brand, but that wasn't the case for me. So that investment yielded tangible, real results, you know? My skin, hair, nails, those are like no brainers for me. There are some things like physical training, um, just certain things as it relates to health and wellness that I feel like are no brainers. There's only one me, I only get one body. Things like that, I don't hesitate. Especially because I am my brand in that industry. Or even YouTube as it relates to quality. Some people, all they can go by is that initial impression. The first glance, the first look at your portfolio, the first look at your channel, you know what I mean? So anything as it relates to quality or improving my quality of life, immediate yes. And it's not about if I'll make the money back, it's it's when I make the money back because we're not giving ourselves a way out of taking inspired action. Do you know what I mean? Of course you're worth the investment. It's you. You can count on yourself, you know? And if you don't really believe that, I promise faking it till you make it, you will accidentally end up in situations like, dang, what if I didn't take that chance? What if I didn't take that risk? You really shock yourself overcoming certain hurdles. You know what I mean? I just wanted to touch on this topic because it's very prevalent in my life. I hope that you guys enjoyed. See you next time.